Hey everybody, say hello to Muffler. And this is Betty White. What kind of tortoises are they? These are radiated tortoises, and they come from Madagascar. Madagascar. This is John, everybody, and Hi. I am at his place in the valley somewhere in Los Angeles, and you have created a Madagascan paradise. Is that right? We try, yes. That's right. So you're in for a treat because we're going to learn all about these tortoises, critically endangered. Critically endangered. And how he feeds for them, cares for them, his whole family does. It's incredible. So keep watching because here it comes. <laughs> Radiated tortoises, are we in Madagascar? It feels like we're in Madagascar, and we kind of are, but where are we really? We're in Los Angeles, but we have a little bit of Madagascar here in LA. We have a lot of Madagascar here in LA. All right, hey everybody, this is John, I'm Kevin, the tortoise guy, and I have the honor today of being here in amazing world that looks so much like Madagascar. Why? Because the tortoises are radiated tortoises. And John and his whole family do everything to make them healthy and feel great and live at home. Hey, what's going on over here, Brooke? We are looking at all the amazing koi fish in our pond. Yeah. They're super friendly. They love to be fed. They all have different names, different patterns, colors. We yeah. also have some lily pads here. Stunning. Right? Yeah, it's amazing. Stunning, stunning, stunning. It's quite a world here, everybody. Okay, John, what do we got here? So, in addition to food, tortoises always need fresh water. Water, 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 yeah. These guys will put their little noses into the, the dish and drink. Yeah. To stay properly hydrated, which we love to see. Yeah. And usually I have several dishes throughout the yard um, occasional they'll go into the pond to get a drink they'll drink or the way to cross it right um, but, uh, so they got everything they got their Missouri pellets over here right they got their Missouri pellets here they get their fresh water dish they got over here they're having a smorgasbord on the salad mix right, right. okay and if that's not enough they can go over there and get the fresh Fresh grass, right? Always available to them with fresh grass. That's right. And water. So, John, what uh, what got you so interested in in, 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 in the, uh, the radiated tortoises, especially? Is there something something captivate you about them? Um, they're critically endangered, and I they're just so beautiful. I love their high dome and their colors. That I wanted to do my part to uh, reproduce them, and it takes many many years. In fact, it could take um, 10 to 15 years or more before they're mature enough to, to reproduce. To reproduce, right? These guys are sort of in the range. They're between 11 and 15 years old right now. Right. So when they're ready, and I've been growing, growing um, slow and healthy right. for years, that um, when they're ready, uh, hopefully um, they give us some eggs I have an incubator ready just in case right on and right then, on um, kind of over here it's kind of a oh. unique area right so this is a beach obviously um, in Madagascar there's a lot of sand uh -huh. so this is natural there's shade there's sand but underneath the sand I dug down two feet and it's a sand and soil mix uh, they can dig lay their eggs I'll retrieve them and then incubate them so it in this right. yard, there's all different terrains. There's the sand, right. there's the dirt, there's the gravel, there's the stream. Gorgeous. Um, yeah. There's hills. Yeah, right? So one thing I like about these tortoises, or I like about their habitat, is they have to, when they get released in the morning, right. they have to go up a hill, around the corner. Well, show us. Through two. Show us. This is, so, this is cool. We got the two bees. This is Boomer, beautiful Boomer, and Betty White. Is that right, John? That's right. Betty White is a 14-year-old female radiated tortoise, and radiated tortoises are from Madagascar. And they are critically endangered, right? They are. But not here, not in John's backyard. And we're going to learn right now, what do you do? How do you keep these guys 
so healthy, you're gonna learn how to feed them, right? You got it.